So do men really want to get married? Alex Wellen, the author of Lovesick and our CNN deputy political director, went on a quest to find that answer. Alex, thanks so much for joining us here. You know, you've been married for six years. You've got a kiddo. I got to know, what made you decide to write this book? Because you seem like a committed man to me. Well, thank you. And, and, it, and doing <laughs> politics all the time, it seems only appropriate that I'd write about love. There you um, go. Right. Uh, <laughs> but no, for the most part, I thought I'd seen all these stories about mm -hmm. men who went kicking and screaming to the altar, right? And that on page one, they kind of had the girl and then they lost her. And then in the credits, they get married. Yeah. And I met a lot of men who privately disclosed that they wanted commitment, that they wanted marriage, that they wanted the exact same things that women wanted. So I thought I'd write a book starting off with a character on page one who was ready to get married. That is so wild to hear because you're saying like men who wanted to get committed. I know there's a ton of women out there thinking, <laughs> Rolling where are eyes. these men? You know, yeah. find them for us. But you, you interviewed dozens and dozens of men. What did you find in your research? Well, once I broke them down, right, I got them in a room and we talked for a long period of time. Men don't want to talk about this, right? <laughs> when they're amongst their friends, they groan, of course, when they they tell each other oh, I'm about to get engaged and women are celebrating in the streets and so but but when you get them one-on-one -on -one and they're in this room mm -hmm. and you've talked for a while and we know that men and women communicate in different ways they started to sound a lot like and I mean this in a masculine way but like women they were saying exactly the same things they just didn't communicate in the same way they were like you know I wanted this partner or this light switch went off and I said to myself you know this I'm a part of something I, I want this this would be this is a great way to kind of proceed the problem is that you know many men do delay marriage and sometimes uh -huh. something needs to happen but uh, many men wanted the same thing that women wanted. That just still feels so foreign <laughs> to hear that because we're just so trained to hear you know, think differently. I know. I gotta know what in the world because I know people are, are really wondering about this. What makes men finally pop the question? Because we we can view them as commitment phobes in so many cases. That's right. Well, and that was just it. Was there a light switch that went off or a dimmer mm -hmm. that kind of got brighter and brighter, and then they said, "Okay, you know, it's time." And so that's what I would get to in these interviews. After about 20 minutes of talking, I'd say, come on, just tell me what mm -hmm. went from, hey, this is nice to, I gotta get my act together and buy the ring. So it varied. Some men just wanted to be secure in who they were. They wanted their job, they wanted to have money, they wanted to give the things and live the life with somebody that they fantasized about having. Other men talked about this kind of, uh, it sounds a little soft, and but spiritual, educational kind of awakening where they were like, you know what? If I don't do something soon, you know, I'm going to lose this great thing. This is crazy. I got to do this. Mm -hmm. um, another person just talked about a subtle thing. They were sitting at dinner and he said, uh, and she said, you know, well, we'll get this house or we'll do this or wouldn't it be fun on this vacation? And he said, you know what? I could be like a part of something. This is, this would be great. Like we should definitely do wow. this. So it was it didn't come quickly on the interviews. It took a little time, but ultimately uh -huh. men um, wanted a lot of the same things. Not every man. I'm, I don't want to be the voice for all men, anything silly like that, but there are plenty of men who felt that way. Well, it's so interesting that you're saying that men want security too, because you always hear it's women who want that. And you talk about marriage. Uh, marriage, infidelity, that's been in the news quite a bit lately. Yeah. And speaking of you know Governor Mark Sanford especially, and a couple of other politicians, how do you think, how important is marriage to political careers? Well, a lot of these politicians um, were elected on a platform around um, marriage, about commitment, about family. Um, and so there's an element of hypocrisy mm -hmm. that um, I think a lot of people are feeling and they feel a little cheated uh, because they were elected on one thing, but what's good for them isn't necessarily, what's good for the public isn't necessarily good for them. And so that, ha that erodes in a, the, uh, the marriage, uh, the institution of marriage, without a mm -hmm. doubt. To have people, you know, there are only 50 governors, there are only so many, 100 senators. Um, these people are at the very highest levels of our government who then make public kind of mistakes like this it causes a lot of damage to mm -hmm. kind of the state and the impression and the vision of, of marriage. Yeah, we've just really been seeing a lot of different examples popping up and it's just interesting to see how everything unfolds. So after all your research and talking with all these men, do you find that men and women really are that different when it comes to commitment? Uh, I think that there are, uh, you know, there are a lot of similarities. I. I for example, men, you would think, don't want a wedding, right? I mean, they, they want a wedding, but they don't want to plan a wedding. They don't want all the dimensions to it. But then you start talking to men, and they have a lot of opinions about how the wedding should go down. Uh -huh. once, uh, once it comes down to it, you may know yourself. And yeah, so, I found that out with my husband, too. Exactly. So <laughs> they actually are very engaged. They have strong opinions. They have fantasies about marriage. They want to... 
they want to kind of ostensibly come in on a white horse and look great in tuxedo and you know <laughs> really? and just, you're kidding <laughs> i think so i think men fantasize they wouldn't maybe use the word fantasize but they think about hey you know i this day's important you know mm -hmm. i have a vision for it maybe i didn't play uh with act gi joe you know dressed up in a tuxedo to get married or barbie dolls you know getting married to barbie dolls but <laughs> i think that men have talked about you know i asked every single man uh so were you excited about the wedding are you excited about the wedding and and 100% of them said yes. Um, they all were like, wow. yeah, you know, this is going to be, this is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be cool. I'm a little nervous about dancing in front mm -hmm. of everyone I know. You hear um, that a lot, yeah. They're very nervous about the dancing. But, uh, but for the most part, they may not have the same um, kind of dreams and fantasies associated with a wedding, but uh, I think they, they're, there are many men who are very excited about that kind of moment, yeah. and uh, they have a vision of what it might look like. That's refreshing to hear, really. What about you and your wife? Because it seems like, I mean, you, you you found commitment somehow. Tell us about that moment when you just had that aha moment with her. So, and I don't want to claim to be the love doctor by any stretch. I had no <laughs> plans in doing that. I wrote this novel because I thought it reflected a lot of men. But for me, yeah, there was a light switch moment. We uh, we were at a Penny Arcade playing like uh, 80s arcade games. Yeah. And she was um, just demolishing me and Millipede and, uh, you know, playing Donkey Kong and all these other great games. <laughs> and I was like, you know, she's a hipster. She's pretty cool. You know, yeah. I thought I, I had my act together. I thought I could take out anybody on this particular game. And I was thinking to myself, this is, this is, this is the sensibility. This is the sentiment. This is the type of kind of personality and person. She had done amazing things before and after that. But that was the moment I thought to myself, you know, I, uh, we could put, so we bought that Millipede video game. It's still uh -huh. in our house, the still. big arcade game. You it's found in our it. House. <laughs> yeah, so That's we have fantastic. it. That's fantastic. A nice little relic from your dating experiences. Yeah, definitely. Well, Alex, it's been so nice yeah, talking to you. To you. Exactly, a great read. Love Sick Alec by Alex Wellen. Check it out. A great read.